Right, I'm going to try and keep this as short and sweet as possible. This is how you set up an ESX, Cubicore, or Cubox 5M server. Either on localhost, which is just your own computer, and that's good for development, or on a VPS, which is basically like renting another computer that you can access remotely via your PC, and that's good for production. So whether you're making a server for you and your friends, or you're getting into scripting and building resources, by the end of this video, you'll have a working framework and a working database all set up and ready to go. So there's a couple of things we'll need. First, head over to the 5M documentation. I've linked everything in the description. Feel free to pause the video as we go along so you don't miss anything. You're also going to need a CFX account if you don't already have one. This is important for managing your server keys and access to resources. While you're at it, it's a good idea to make a GitHub account too. Most frameworks and scripts are hosted there and you'll definitely need it sooner or later. Now that's out of the way, let's make sure your system is ready for database access. If you're working on a localhost server, I recommend you use an XAMPP. It's beginner friendly and comes with MariaDB, which works perfectly for 5M. But if you're working with a VPS for a live or production server, you might want to install MySQL instead because it runs as a background process. But let's start with XAMP. Download the latest version here. Click here if it doesn't download automatically. Save the installer where you want. I'm gonna just save it here. And then you're gonna to wanna to double click on your installer. Let it open up. Click next. Now for 5M you only need MySQL. You can remove these. Keep PHP my admin so you can access the files if you don't have high DSQL. Click next. I'm gonna save this in my D drive, but you can save it wherever you want. To keep it organized, I'm gonna create an XAMP folder on my D drive. I'm gonna refresh the directory. There it is. Save it there. Next. Language, English. Next. Set up, ready. Let it install. I'm going to fast forward this. Click allow. Do you want to start the control panel? Yes. If you received a message like this when you start an installation, then don't worry. You just need to start XAMP as an administrator. Once XAMP is open, you want to click here to install MySQL if it's not already there. Click start, click allow, and that's it. Minimize that. You can delete this. Now let's get the redistributable. I'll leave the link in the description below. Click here, or if you have a subscription to myvisualstudio.com, then click here. Save it where you want. I'm gonna save it here again. Download it, double click on it to install. And then you'll need to restart. Okay, now you've installed all the relevant things for your database to be functional and the PC is restarted. We can go ahead and get your server artifacts from the 5M artifacts website. Now you're usually fine to download the latest recommended artifacts however I like to use this artifact checker to check for any known bugs so from what I can see 17346 has no reported issues so I'm gonna download that one
And once that's downloaded, open your downloads folder, open the folder that we made earlier in a separate window. As you can see, I've got ESX, Cubicore and Cubox just for demonstration purposes. But what you need to do is slide the artifact zip into your folder. You can name it whatever you want. I name it by version number. And then you can begin to extract the files there. Once the files are finished extracting, you're going to want to scroll down until you find an application called FX Server. And when you do, you're going to want to double click on it and let it run whatever it's running. It's going to open a window in your browser. Make sure the numbers match. Then you're going to want to link your account. The CFX account that we made before. Create a backup password. Confirm the backup password. Accept the terms and register. Here, you're just going to want to name the server. Here, you want to select popular recipes. And then you can choose your framework. ESX, Cubicore, Cubox. I'm going to install ESX first. Data location. I'm going to have it on the D drive inside the folder that we created. And then I'm going to click save. Then go to recipe deployer. We can change the name and some other details here, but to save messing up the tasks, I'll create a video specifically on the server CFG. So click next. So now we need a server registration key. So we're going to head over to Keymaster or the new CFX portal using the CFX account we created earlier and we'll generate one. Now I already have server registration keys but you probably won't if it's a new account. So if you don't you can generate one by going to the top right where it says generate key in red and clicking that. Then it will ask you to put in a display name and it will also have the registration key there that we need to put in here. Make sure you don't show anybody this key and click run recipe. And if you're stuck, you can click here for a guide on how to create one. And then deploy. And once all those tasks have run and been completed, a window should pop up with your resources folder, ESX logo, file, and your server CFG. Inside your resources folder will be categorized groups of scripts that work together to make your server which you can usually adjust settings for inside the config file in each resource. Right, let's close this window. Let's leave this open. Let's click next. This is the server CFG that I was talking about. I'll make a more extensive video on how to and what to do with this. As you can see, I'm already set as a admin. And then you want to click save and run server. Now providing you've got XAMP running, you shouldn't run into any errors here. And it should set up the database automatically. So let's open 5M. And if you haven't got 5M, I'll make a video on how to install that too. Now if you're local hosting, you'll be able to connect to your server here. And if you're hosting your server on a VPS, then your players or yourself will have to access the server via the search menu. And depending on what framework version you are running, you may need to switch game version. But that's okay. If you're not signed into Rockstar Games Launcher, it will prompt you to log in using the account that's attached to your Grand Theft Auto game. As you can see, it's brought us straight to the character creator or character identity for your ESX. So I'm going to put in my first name, my last name, 
the fake date of birth, gender, height, and create. Make sure you tell players not to use their real information, as server owners can see that. Now I'm going to create my character quickly. And this is your work in 5M server. It will be the same for QBox and QB Core, except the resources will be different a little bit. Give myself a phone, as you can see, that works. See my inventory. Heads are there, local vehicles driving around. Spawn myself a car, take a quick drive just to show you everything's working. Put the seatbelt on. Getting about 100 frames. I've got a lot of things running. We died successfully, everything's good. So I'm going to fast forward the QBox and the QBCore installation, however it's exactly the same. If you found this helpful, subscribe and follow the link in the description to the Discord if you need 5M support services from me or if you need scripts from Zyv Scripts. I will be making a couple of more videos on how to access and use the database and other things like the config, CFG and other ways that you can improve your server for free.